Hey, what's up everyone? It's James Santiago here at Learn Wealthy. Today, we're diving into something that might shock you. Some of you have been told your whole life, pay off your mortgage, son, or, or daughter, or whatever you are. It's good to be debt free. Plus, you have your own paid off house at the end of the day. But what if I told you that could actually be one of the worst financial moves you could make? Yeah, you heard me. Paying off your house might not be the holy grail to financial freedom that everyone else says it is. In fact, if you got all the equity sitting pretty in your home, it's not generating a single dime for you. And thanks to our best friend, inflation, it's actually losing value every single day. Fact check me on that mainstream news. You see, when people talk about equity in a home, they imagine it like a pile of cash that's sitting there growing over time. But that's a total myth. Equity on its own, keyword is on its own, does not generate any return. It just sits there. And because of inflation, that equity is actually eroding in value year after year. So what happens to your home value over time? People think, oh, my house is worth double what I paid for 20 years ago. I'm rich. But let me hit you with the truth. Your house is not going up in value. The dollar is going down in value. Yep, that's right. Home appreciation isn't what it seems. It's just dollar getting weaker. If you look at your home's value in terms of gold, which holds its value over centuries, houses don't look like they've gone up at all. In fact, they often look cheaper now than they did decades ago when measured against gold. The average price of a home right now in 2024 in the US is 420,000. The spot price of the gold right now, 2024, is about 2,750 per ounce. So that means it takes 152 ounces of gold right now in 2024 to buy your average house in the US. It just takes 152 pieces of these to buy your average home in the US when it used to cost over 400 pieces. According to gold, your house is losing its value. It's just you've been comparing the value of your home to the US dollar way too much. When you know the value of the US dollar is worth So if you're banking on your home appreciating as your nest egg, you might want to think again. Yeehaw! There's that real estate agent again, James, who makes owning a home look bad. Cause I'm real, let's get real. With inflation eroding the value of the dollar and your equity just sitting there, Doing nothing, it's basically a losing game. You think you're securing your future by paying off your mortgage, but what you're really doing is locking your money away, watching it getting weaker by the day. Every year, your dollar buys less and less groceries, gas. You feel it in your wallet, right? Come on, just tell me, I know you feel in it. That same effect is quietly eating away the value of your paid off house or the equity portion of your home. All right, guys, let me explain this thing with my wonderful drawing. I got you a house. Sorry for my amazing artwork. And I got you a couple, uh, two new homeowners right here. I got Average Joe just getting by and Average Jane, I need a man. And they're happy because they're new homeowners. Now, the value of their home is divided, the equity and the loan. The equity part of it is how much they own or, or how much they, they've paid for and the loan is how much they owe to the bank. Now there's two ways to build your equity. We got appreciation and loan pay down. With appreciation, it considers your home value, the market, the economy, how much dollars are in circulation, the strength of the labor market and the strength of the home buyer demand. It doesn't matter how much equity you got in order for you to get appreciation. You can have 3% equity, 0% equity, or 100% equity, and this appreciation will not care about how much equity you have. And then you got the loan pay down. You can gain more equity by paying off your loan. Either you make extra payments or you actually pay off your mortgage. But it's the same thing, you're not gaining any more value to yourself. You're not increasing your net worth since you simply paid money to increase your equity. And then there's inflation. Inflation actually benefits you 
if your loan is bigger because inflation erodes debt. So the more you pay off your home and the more you increase your equity, the less you will benefit from inflation. Look, I'm not saying owning a home is bad. Owning a home can be a smart move for a lot of people, but blindly pouring every dollar to pay off your mortgage to increase your equity, that's where it gets risky. Because the truth is, equity doesn't give you cash flow, equity doesn't give you appreciation, it doesn't give you anything. Except inflation makes your equity worth less. Considering there's no appreciation going on and appreciation is not directly related to your equity, so I know it's Halloween and I don't mean the pun, but equity is dead weight. And with inflation at play, it's like your money is slowly sinking in quicksand. So next time someone tells you to pay off your mortgage as fast as you can, tell them to take a hike into the wilderness. Run the numbers, ask yourself, is this money better off sitting in a wall or would it be better if it was working for me? Which one is better? Like a uh, 0% on equity? or a four to five percent on maybe US Treasury, a dividend stocks, or maybe a high yield savings account. Zero percent, four to five percent. It's a really hard decision, I need to sleep on it. All right, that's it for today. If this gave you a new perspective in life, hit the subscribe button. Watch this video on why owning a home sucks. What kind of realtor are you, sir? Telling everybody that it's not great to buy a house? Well, I'm just telling the truth. Let me know in the comments if you are team pay off your house or team make the money work for me. And remember, for more investing, finance, real estate, and macroeconomics, let's all learn wealthy together and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, what's up everyone? It's James Santiago here at Learn Wealthy. Today we're diving... <laughs>